Thousands of bikers have huge plans to take America back. Watch out, we're coming for you. While bikers sometimes get a bad reputation because motorcycles are the mode of transportation preferred by certain illegal elements, a lot of bikers are just free spirit retirees who want to live full lives in their golden years. While the failed Hillary campaign wants you to believe that married white women are responsible for the election of President Trump, they found an unlikely ally in bikers across America. The Washington Examiner reports that Florida has a large contingent of very politically active bikers and they're fully behind President Trump. Yeah, to um, be honest with you, I've worked for Colin Powell, Elizabeth Dole, and, um, and Dan Quell. Dan Quell is very personable. He'd come out and uh, talk to the advance team, what, what went wrong, what could you have done better, and he'd thank us all. Of all the politicians I worked with, he was very personal. And like Donald Trump, he's very personable. He's not big-headed. He's going to come in the back and he's going to talk to everybody that's there. He's going to make everybody feel special. He's going to thank you. Now, he'll also be the first one to criticize you, and I like that, too. And that's why the bikers are behind Donald Trump, because we tell it like it is, too. And Donald Trump, speaking his mind, uh, was one of the very first things that got the attention of the biker. After Trump's presidency started, the bikers began thinking of ways to capitalize on their newfound stature. Trump has delivered on the issues bikers care about most. Under President Trump, the United States has helped liberate nearly 100% of the territory held by ISIS. The spending bill signed by Trump in March, including $700 billion for the military, the largest military budget in U.S. history, According to Chris Cox and his bikers for Trump, reforming the VA should be America's most urgent priority. These vets I meet, they don't go to the VA because they don't think they'll get the care they need. That's in itself a crisis, Cox stated, and he thinks that Trump's plan to replace David Shulkin with White House physician Ronnie Jackson to lead the VA is a step in the right direction. Americans have the honor and privilege to be able to vote and campaign for those that value what we value. Working to elect a president like President Trump that will back our pet issues is our birthright. And if you're a Floridian, you might see that work is done by backs covered in leather and hearts pumping red, white, and blue, meaning the bikers. Conservative pundits are concerned that the liberal backlash to President Trump's election will end with a Democratic sweep in the 2018 midterm elections and that they could lead to an impeachment attempt by the left. In other words, just because President Trump is in office, it doesn't mean that his supporters can rest. In other words, the bikers of a majority of this country are going to back Trump as much as humanly possible, especially when he's attacked day in and day out. Thank you for watching Screen Hoopla News. I leave you a link below for this article.